Hey guys and welcome back. I am launching out of Santa Cruz again. We are going for halibut again. It's been really good out here. The last two times I came out, I caught a 29 inch halibut and then a 27 and a half, 28 inch halibut on a swim bait. So it's been very, very good. At least I've had good luck the last couple of times I've been out here. But yeah, today I decided to try it out again just to see if my good luck streak continues. So right now it's about 7.20 in the morning. I'm launching out of the Santa Cruz Harbor. You can see right behind me. And we'll be heading out there to look for some fish. So I'm gonna pedal on out there. I'm on a new kayak. This is the Hobie Outback. So much more comfortable than in my lifetime Tamarack. And I'm super excited to use it. This is the second time I've used it. I got this thing on Craigslist and it came with a fish finder. And you can see it's a nice fish finder, but I can't get it to work. It's just, I don't know, it's not reading anything other than my speed so i'm looking into that last time my rudder wouldn't turn and i figured out the problem it was pretty stupid but now that's fixed so look at that no hands mom anyways look at this morning right over santa cruz looking like nice weather i checked the waves today and it's supposed to be pretty good so basically you can check the swell and the period so the period is how often i mean how many seconds between each wave set so today is supposed to be like 10 seconds which is really really nice it means it's going to be pretty flat out here and the swell is about four feet whereas two three days ago it was nine feet so we're looking at glassy glassy conditions baby anyways enough talk i'm gonna get out there about half a mile out there and then we'll start fishing coming up on some otters right here look at that right there one two densest fur of any mammal their fur is so dense that actually to float they will be grooming themselves and they'll be packing air bubbles into their fur so that's how dense it is it'll trap air bubbles in there look at this guy these guys are keystone species so basically if these guys are not around the kelp forest ecosystem collapses so they're super important look at this guy they're so playful too and basically they're so important because they eat so many urchins and the urchins take out the kelp they can be like plagues so those guys are super super good in uh, keeping our kelp forests healthy and alive we're gonna slap on some frozen bait and then switch to the live if i catch it later on i brought two baits with us today we got squid and anchovy last time i was here the anchovy was doing really well they got hit by every rockfish in the world and the squid was not as popular so i'm gonna try one rod with each again and then we're gonna see how it goes but i'll show you my rig how i'm gonna set it up and what i'm gonna do with the bait to make it look really nice down there so for my rig i got my rod i got one casting one spinning right there and i got braid on them i think this is 30 pound and then that one is 65 i use that for sharks usually but it'll totally do in here and then from the braid i'm connecting a sliding sinker so i got this right here so that my sinker can slide around as i'm drifting i got a plastic bead to protect my knot going to a barrel swivel right there and then this barrel swivel leads to 40 pound mono that's my leader and what i've done is i've tied a halibut rig so there's this is a sliding snell knot this thing will slide down that way i can put different size baits on here and that way i can give my anchovy a nice firm bend so that it spins in the water so i'll show you exactly what that looks like right now what i'm going to do is i'm going to take this octopus hook right here and i'm going to put it in through the head try to get the bony part of the head this treble hook is going to go right here right over the spine or right under the spine sorry and now once my bait is like this i'm going to pull tight right here like that but basically this will spin in the water it'll start rolling with the current and it'll flash around and attract the bite hopefully i'm using a 10 ounce torpedo sinker right here so i'm just gonna clip this on real easy and now my anchovies in the water you can see it spins around nicely in there i'm gonna send this entire rig down there all the way to the bottom i'll close my bail up Put this thing in the rod holder, tighten down a little bit, and now we are fishing, baby. That thing is gonna be bouncing around down there. Hopefully it gets hit. I'm gonna set up the other one with the squid. Check it out, we got bottlenose dolphins. They're right here. They're, oh, there's gotta be, there's gotta be anchovies around. But one, of, there it is. 
Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful bottlenose dolphin. So that's the dolphin that you think about when you think of the word dolphin. They're extremely smart, extremely friendly, and extremely into anchovies. So let's see where they're at. They can't be far. For the squid, I'm gonna rig up a little differently. You can see I got a nice big squid out here. And I'm gonna put this top hook right at the top. And then this is when the sliding snell knot comes in handy. I can make this a little bigger. And then I'm gonna wrap this around the squid just like that. Ugh, I'm getting a lot of ink all over me. And the treble is gonna go right above the head right there. So you can see my squid in the water that looks pretty good if this this thing in the current will look alive only thing is live squid glow a little but honestly this looks really good i really like that presentation because look those tentacles are dangling around really nice so let's send this thing down and we are golden and this is what i'm doing for the swim bait i'm using a lighter rod saint croix mojo inshore and i got it paired with a daiwa bg 4000 30 pound braid 25 pound fluoro leader tactical angler clip and then this swim bait this thing caught me a halibut a 28 inch halibut or 27 and a half on the first cast last time and i ended up hooking three and landing two halibut right out here last week just with the swim bait. So I'm gonna throw it again. I'm using a one and a half ounce jig head and this swim bait is five inches long. So perfect size. All I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna take my swim bait, chuck it out there. And I'm gonna let it sink all the way to the bottom. Now, once it's all the way down there, I'm just gonna reel in and I'm gonna let it flutter down until I feel it thump. And it's just important that you feel it thump on the bottom because remember these halibut are hiding out right at the bottom they're ambush predators so if you let it thump you could trigger a fish on no way i last time last time i literally caught a fish at the same part of basically the same phrase what is this oh no i missed no 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 let's see that i'm pretty sure that was a bite i'm gonna just flick it back out here that is insane last time i was saying something very similar and then when i said the word strike I caught a fish. So I actually think the best shot I have at a halibut this morning is on the swim bait. The time before the last that I came, I caught a 29 inch halibut and that was on anchovies. But the other day, all three halibut bites I got on a swim bait. So I'm just gonna keep casting, keep this nice steady retrieve, bouncing along that bottom, thumping around. And let's see if I can catch a fish. Oh, madre. GoPro, start recording. Yep, that's a fish. Oh, that's a fish. This is a halibut. This is a halibut. Wow. Oh, oh yeah. This is a good one. This is a good one. Oh, this is on the... I'm not even sure what this was on. I saw him hit and then my line... I was letting him bite again because I didn't know he was on there. But he's on there. This has got to be a halibut. Those are head shakes right there. Come on. Get up, get up. Oh yeah, it's a halibut. Oh, it's a little halibut. I don't think this is a keeper. Let's see. I don't want to. I don't want to net it because if you net them, uh, their tail splits. And ooh, he's barely hooked. He's barely hooked, and he's on my other line. Oof. Come on. He's wrapped around my other line. Oh, he's totally gonna get off. Yeah, he's off. Damn it. All right, well, that was a shaker, I'm pretty sure. But yeah, he was just wrapped around my other line and barely hooked so 99 percent that was a shaker if not it was like 22.01 inches i'll release that thing anyways i'm gonna get another bait on here that's good though that's already a halibut so let me replace this thing and then we'll get our bait back in the water see if we can catch one and land it and hopefully it's a keeper all righty i rigged up another anchovy here let's get it sent down there come on 
get me a keeper this time. This is the 30 inch anchovy, 30 pound anchovy. This is gonna hook a 30 pounder right now. So I am rigged back up. Let's start throwing that swim bait again. No, no, no. Oh, GoPro start recording. Yeah. Oh, I just cast this one. I literally just let this one down and it's, it's got a fish. Don't think it's a halibut, I think it's some rockfish. But I literally dropped it like a minute ago. Less. Yep. Look at that rockfish. Seconds. I didn't even get to pick up my swim bait rod. And this is a nice rockfish. You can see he filleted the heck out of that fish. Check out our little rockfish. First one of the day. So far, we've caught a halibut and a rockfish, landed a rockfish. Basically, you can only use one rod for rockfish. So since I have three out right now, I gotta release this guy. But he'll get to grow. There he goes. Nice. All right, you're gonna rig back up, start drifting again, and now I'm gonna start casting the swim bait. GoPro, start recording. Oh, this is a fish. This is a fish. It was snagged, but there was also a fish on it. Nice. I think it's a rockfish. Not fighting at all like a halibut. Yeah, rockfish. All right. Well, at least I got something out of that snag. But we're going to have to release this guy. It's a pretty rockfish, though. Look at that. Very pretty. Rebaiting, and then I'm moving out of this spot. I'll go on that side of the buoy because there's so many snags here. It's ridiculous. GoPro, start recording. Oh, that was a bite. Come on. That was definitely a bite. Halibut, if they don't get hooked, oftentimes they'll come back. Damn, he was on for like half a second. Urgh, I'm just grinding away here. I'm doing my best. I got two rods out, anchovy and squid. I'm going at it with a swim bait. It'll happen. We're going to make it happen. Come on, there's a bite, there's a bite, come on. Got him. Got him. Rockfish. Yeah, it's a rockfish. Oh, what? Oh, there's my bait. There's my live bait. It's a croaker. It's a croaker. A halibut will eat this thing any day. I'm gonna throw this guy down live. This is a great catch right now. This is a croaker. This guy's going down. This is a perfect size for live bait. And good because he just took my last sardine. This is where the sliding snail knot comes in handy. We're gonna slide it. I'm gonna take this guy. I'm gonna hook him through the nose just like that. And there we go. There's my live bait rigged up. Uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. Let's send him down all the way to the bottom. Let's see. Fishing a live croaker right now. Let's see what hits him. That was something on the live bait. Something just happened. My croaker just got attacked. Here's a little croaker. Seems to be doing fine. He doesn't have any cuts on him either. I don't want to keep him out of the water too long. I'm going to send him back down there. And I'm just going to troll around. GoPro, start recording. GoPro, start recording. Yeah, fish on. Fish on. Come on. Nice. On the swim bait. On the swim bait. Oh, I was about to hit back in. It's windy up here. Oh, it's a rockfish. No, no. I said fish on the swim bait. Gotta be a halibut, but no. Another rockfish. Damn. All right, look at this guy. Look at that. Took the swim bait. And that's a nice sized rockfish right there. Let's get the release on them. See you later, buddy. Damn, I got excited right there. I thought we had our halibut. It's been a pretty tough day out here. Look, it's getting pretty choppy. You can see 
Yeah, it's just getting windy and I'm gonna head out. These halibut do not want to play. So no keeper halibut. I did catch that one. It's probably a shaker. If it was a keeper, it was barely legal. Anyways, at least we were able to pick up a good amount of rockfish and that last one on the swim bait. I'm surprised that croaker didn't get hit. Honestly, I thought when I pulled up the croaker and once I sent it down there, I said, the halibut are in danger now, baby. But no, they did not fall for that. I thought the croaker was gonna work, not gonna lie. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like, comment, subscribe, share, and until next time, tight lines.